Hello. Hello and welcome everyone uh, to the month of January 2018. My monthly reading. I uh, couldn't make it for the clairvoyant alchemy readings, which I really enjoy them because it sets up the table for me. You know, like how many times did the King of Cups come through via those readings? The, the Empress Venus, you know, the... I'm going to talk about the high priestess today, okay, because, um, first of all, happy birthday, Capricorn and Aquarius, friends, okay, and my monthly videos are for all, for all people of zodiac signs, but we def definitely have some powerful cosmic scenarios coming on for 2018, and we've been talking about 2018 as uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 8 is 11, a master coded number and one plus one is two and you know I talk about this and I have this new deck called the Lima Tarot and literally when I first used this deck the high um, excuse me the Empress this is the Empress right here okay came through all right and um, that's the judgment card and that's the um, star card right there and of course the magician bringing in the balance um, but this card already came through for this deck, the Two of Cups. But we're going to highlight my most favorite, number two, honestly, you know, as a major arcana, is the High Priestess, okay? The High Priestess. So we're going to talk about that High Priestess today because there's a lot of cosmic things going on uh, with 2018. From the get-out, we just had that fabulous... Um, Super full moon in Cancer. Okay, beginning of this uh, just just Monday. Okay, and we're gonna have a new moon, a uh, new moon Capricorn as well on the 16th, and then we're gonna have this uh, lunar eclipse in Leo at the end of the month. So it's like two full moons in one month. Okay, that's and I have some information here. I want to read about it actually. Because you know how for all my monthly readings, I like to read about what the tone is. And in, in, in the Mayan wisdom, okay, and I'll just show you this. In the Mayan wisdom, the 13th cycle, when there's blue moon, they call it the blue moon, when two full moons, one month. These are very powerful ones. These are, it's like amazing. It's cosmic in tone, okay, cosmic. And I may want to kind of teach a little bit more about this, but this is really difficult, and I don't want to lose you real fast, but but the creative power is to endure, okay, so prepare your mind for victory, all right, we've been talking about that, the action is to transcend, okay, and that's why cosmically, and that's why we got to go into meditation, okay, I don't know if you can see this, but it's transcend, and the, this is the moon of presence, so you have to, you know, take the action, you, you know, you're the one. You're the only one because we, on this channel we talk about spirituality. Your soul. Okay. Your soul came here for a reason. Your birth date, you're coded. Where you were born is another code. Okay. What you know, what part of the planet. And um, but I do want to read this just for the moment because this blue moon's here. Uh, the ancient definition of the blue moon is when a season has four full moons instead of normally having three. The blue moon would be the third full moon out of the four, okay? And, you know, that's why they, that's, there's a term about once, you know, in the, once in a blue moon, okay? But this is about transcendence. It's all cosmic in nature, okay? And um, I, I've already, ha um, because this, this um, lunar eclipse at the end of the month is so powerful. And I'm going to do a special video. You know how I do all my videos for the new moon and the um, full moon. But I did want to bring into January that now this is a moon of purpose, okay, for this month. So again, uh, January, February. And happy birthday, Capricorn, and um, my Aquarius friends. And the title is the Star, which is a beautiful major arcana card. Okay, herbs are holly, thistle, nuts, and cones. And the colors are white, lavender, blue, violet, indigo, and black. The stones are garnet, onyx, jet. Chrysophrase. Ooh, I don't even know what that one is. Rose quartz. Okay, love, love. Bear, fox, coyote. The goddesses are Freya, and you know how much I love Freya. And I plan to do a new twin flame with what came through the other day, Inanna. 
She's a Sumerian goddess, uh, very powerful. Saravasti, another powerful Hindu goddess. And Hera, Hera I think is the Greek goddess. And the medicine is awakening, envisioning, beginning, and conceiving. Take that rest. Take that meditative time, okay? Protection. And here we have embark is a season we want to learn. But it's the creative powers to unify. The action is to attract, okay? So attract those of like minds now, okay? That's what we want to do. You know, we, we want to attract people soul-to-soul -soul connection. You know, that's when the universe says, yes, we want to bring you these people. Okay, you're going to meet these people because they're meant to be in your life. Okay, so here we're having a blue moon events with powerful cosmic grounds, with all with Luna, okay, Luna. And then in March, because um, March is my birth month, so I'm paying attention, <laughs> um, it's a full moon in Virgo on the 1st, which is uh, my moon sign is in Virgo, so I want to pay attention to that. And then... On um, March 31st is uh, uh, another full moon in Libra, which is my rising sign. <laughs> this, I have to celebrate something for my birthday, <laughs> okay? But here we have, and you know, we don't read um, gender specific on this channel. Please embrace the influence of the high priestess. But mainly, she's all about Luna, okay? <laughs> so the high priestess, and she's all about that intuition, all right? She's the feminine side of intuition, where the magician is the male side of intuition. Okay, knowing within. And and that's why we don't, you know, share too much with people what's going on in the respect, because some of this stuff um, just has to be private in solitude. Okay, so this is the high priestess, and look for the witch's tarot, you know, if you follow me, I've used this deck quite often. And again, here I just received this deck a couple of weeks ago. And the, they have the high priestess on the cover of the book too, and and I really really like this new deck. And I you know Sir um, Sir Marchetti, I love I have three of his decks I think. But when I was you know I always sit down and do the cards you know just to get them in order, make sure nothing's reversed or something like that. And the Empress showed up, and I'm like, my lord, we're already tapping the table, right? Oh my lord, and I already know what this card is. The king of cups. How the frick did he get there? My lord, oh lord. See, I, I, I'm looking forward to this reading, okay? I really am. And I, you know, but if, if the high priestess doesn't come through, that's all right. That's all right. We're just, we just want to uh, channel these energies, okay? But the cosmic realm in 2018 is very powerful, okay? So look up to the stars. You know, chin up, look up, okay? If you're feeling a little on the awkward side, prepare your mind for victory in 2018, okay? And it's all based, that's, and it's, remember, we speak of spirituality here. You just do, you, and not ego away, no ego, okay? It comes from your intuition, okay? And that's why we want to talk more about the chakras, and that's why I want to, you know, I, I really, truly love my um, clairvoyant alchemy, but, you know, trying to get 12 videos out is, um, it's going to be hard for the next few weeks for me, but we'll see what happens. Okay, first card in my hand, okay? And look at this card just floating in my hand here. Yeah, okay, so we get a bonus card already. Again, this is for all uh, persons who believe in that there's another dimension, okay? And there truly is. And there's beautiful ones in that dimension, and then there's not so, okay? And it's not here, you know, we're, as when we become more spiritual, we, we come from, you know, a love, our heart chakra, it, it, we come from that love, okay? And that's what we need to, you know, balance all the other chakras with, okay? But intuition is the brow chakra. Okay, your third eye. So, you know, make something happen for yourself in 2018 because it's meant to be. It really is. And we keep saying that there's the two is also about a pairing, that you're supposed to meet someone, whether it be partnership in business or a friendly, you know, connection. You, you, um, you know, enjoy each other's company. Could be a love affair as well. Just... 
pay attention, okay, because something is definitely causing, look at that, right in my hand, right in my hand, okay, <laughs> when they do that, it's like, okay, stop the chatter, let <laughs> me take an exhale out, I just said, looks like we're going to have 11 cards, okay? That doesn't happen quite often when two cards come out of my hand, but that's okay. We're going to accept it. And I have this little blessing deck for, to just pick maybe a couple at the end because I really like this deck. Okay, my drawings, many, many blessings to all of you in 2018. You know, it's, it's really the year to manifest dreams if you believe in yourself. Okay, not coming from ego, okay, but yes, we got to think it out, you know, the dreams, the air element sign, I brought it out for Aquarius uh, energy, okay, Capricorn is earth energy, so that's why I brought my witch's deck, and then of course the, the whole deck uh, embraces the high priestess, so, and you do, you have to be now your own high priestess, your own new magician, okay, we've been talking about that for years as well, okay, so just believe in you. All right, believe in you, and um, <clears throat> it's it's important. And this Capricorn here and Saturn is real important. Six of Pentacles. Okay. All right, that's nice to start out the reading. This this is a new deck, so I don't even know the images yet, because this card has not come through. But six is about, we'll talk about those sixes, about that peace and harmony, okay? And you can see the balance scale is there, like, yep. Just keep that balance, and that's another word we always use on this channel. Just everything in balance, okay, balance. Because, you know, there's beautiful ones out there, and then there's the dark forces and creatures of the devil and all the demons. And then there's bad souls, because demons don't have souls. That's why they live forever. They never die. Okay, so and pentacles is the earth. You know, and you can see these. There's. But let's let's keep moving here because there's three hands here. Okay, there's three, and and we've been talking about threes. The empress is number three. The creativity, the love, the beauty, and she is also you know. Regarding Mother Earth, the Empress. Okay, and that's the first time I've seen that card, so I really like this deck. I really do. <coughs> ay, ay, ay. How fabulous. How fabulous. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to talk about myself, but. March 11th, 1960, in the numerology that I read about and talk about, I'm a queen of earth, a queen of pentacles. Yes. Looks like she's got a Capricorn head on there, too, her address. Okay. I think this card has come through. If not, maybe I looked her up. But she's holding it. She's, in, you know, and she's the kings and queens, you know, They've mastered themselves. They've talked it, walked it, worked it, and you know, here to embrace. Uh, but this queen is usually one that's into philanthropy and things like that. How nice that she came through. See, see, I have to now really 
you know, individually pay attention to what's going on here. Strength, how wonderful. Ah, look at this card. See, I haven't seen this card either. Oh, but look how nice this is. Yes, this is so beautiful. And actually, this um, lunar eclipse, uh, not super full moon, is in the sign of Leo. The strength card. And Leo ruled by uh, the sun star. So you see, this is all being balanced, Luna and the sun. And it always has been for Earth. Without Luna and the sun star, Earth would not be. Okay. Okay. How beautiful. Look at all the stars behind her. And she loves her lion. And I just love the images of this deck. I really do. And look at this one. So nice. And it's like tapping the table already for this January of 2018. So nice. That's so wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to make a special video for that uh, full moon. Well, I'm going to do the new moon for Capricorn, but that full moon, super um, lunar eclipse in Leo is, is cosmic. And you can see, look. The stars, you can see we're just talking about how this year is cosmic. These, these um, rather these blue moons, back to back. It's wonderful. Okay, wonderful. The stars. And so, you know, we, we just had a reading last month in regard to that. You know, chin up, look up. That happened. That's the um, when I was reading the Baby Jesus video for Christmas. That's what we were talking about. Chin up, look up. Okay, and pay attention because God has something to tell you. Okay, so look at this major arcana card here. This is from um, Silo Marchetti's deck. And there we have a full moon, rainbow, little kitty. I don't think I've ever seen this card, actually. Because I would remember the little kitty and the butterfly. See the little kitty down below. And there's water, and we talk about the full. And we've been we a video just came through about the spiritual initiate because that's what I prefer to call the zero major arcana card, the spiritual initiate, that you literally are giving it up to the universe, and you're taking that leap of faith. Okay, that just came through a few weeks ago, and there we have Luna on the top. He's holding the Earth. Very intriguing rainbow colors. See, prepare your mind for victory. See how he's holding the earth there? So prepare your mind for victory. We have the queen of earth already. It, it opened up the reading with this harmonizing karmic card of the sixes and peace. Also, peace is, is what it's all about. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this card. And the rainbow colors. That's all about magic, too. Okay, you can see a castle in the background. Yeah, I've never seen this card before in all the years I've had this deck. See the castle in the background there? That's fabulous. Wish upon your stars, my darling. May your dreams come true. And that's what it is. And go within and journal, journal. Ah, we were just talking about the star. Happy birthday, Aquarius. <laughs> this is your major arcana card. <laughs> oh, there's your glyph. How oh, wonderful. I gotta read about these Hebrew <laughs> letters. Study them. I love this card too. Because this is about hopes. Hopes. Definitely about that. And it's it's about, you know, inspiring yourself and, and you know, Aquarius people. And their sign is an air element sign. So it's um, about the intellect, how you mentally think. And um, that's wonderful. See, this is a good sign. See, we're tapping the table in respect, you know, because we were just wishing Capricorn and Aquarius a happy birthday in January. And, and you get your trump card. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And she's beautiful. 
but it is about that balance. See how she's also holding, you know, the water bearer, as they say, golden two, balancing the flow. And that's what it is. Because sometimes Aquarius folk, and I've called the Aquarius people visionaries. And what I dig about your people too is that you, you, you even though your vision could be for yourself, but you embrace the group as well, you know, the population. You, what you want to see make happen is for many, not just for yourself. Okay. That's very good. Very positive. And it's a lovely card, too. Okay, well, now we have the Tower card, Major Arcana card. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, so see, this is why we really have to go within. And here we have Mars and uh, the glyph of Mars right there. And the planet Mars is the Tower card. Okay, so this is about having that energy. You know, and it's about taking action. Sometimes the energy can be too aggressive, and that's when, you know, the universe is in charge and will blow up your castle, <laughs> okay? So, you know, it's not about ego, okay? It's not about the ego. It's about a balanced way to think, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, the esoteric metaphysics of balance, okay? Working with spirit going within, you know, it's not about ego at all, okay, you can see the lightning bolt, you see how, <laughs> like God Thor would send those lightning bolts, God does it too, <laughs> Father God sends those lightning bolts, look at all this hurricane, oh, I think he was trying to do a cleansing, get people to wake up, I still can't believe Puerto Rico has no electricity in certain places, it's so sad, the Ten of Wands, look at this. Well, this is a 10, the, the Transcendence Code. And look, see, walk into the castle. Walk into the castle there, see, you put it out there. And you're get, getting back in large amounts, and the wands are about fire. I don't know, can you see the castle right there? Can you see the castle? See, in the, this corner right here, by the rainbow rays. There you go. And see... Walk into the castle. And it looks like he's got two griffins on the back. Gothic kind of symbolization. But he's worked it and, you know, he's mastered himself. And he's going to go to the castle with his wisdom, his fire, passionate energy. And that's what it is. You got to have fire, fire, passionate energy right now. You really do. That's what it is. And see, the zero major arcana is, you know, you're going to start on this journey, right? And But you're taking that leap of faith with the universe, okay? With the cosmic realm. Cosmic. I mean, we're having two powerful moons, four moons in back-to-back. -back. That's crazy. Crazy good. Crazy good. Okay, wait, these are the bonus cards, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. How beautiful. Yeah, this this, um, this lunar eclipse in, in the sign Leo at the end of the month here is very, very powerful. Actually, I was just reading. I shared um, uh, from, I think, astronomy.com. Uh, you know, they're not really speaking, you know, about the mystic side. But they said that this... Um, oh, Lunar eclipse, supermoon in Leo. Well, I don't think they said in Leo, but it hasn't happened in 150 years. Okay, 150 years. And now, why I'm bringing that up, because look, we have the world card, Major Arcana. And look what they have there. The Leo, right there. The lion, the green man, the eagle soaring high. Actually, I just posted something about eagle medicine as well on my Facebook a couple days ago. And the world is, that's when, <laughs> the world is yours. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? This is fabulous. This is the last card of the major arcana. And this is all about, you know, just going within. This is about karma, too. You get what you give. But the world card is, is um, Saturn's trump card. Okay. So pay attention. Pay attention, so 
And this is a very powerful cycle now. Because I think um, Capricorn and Saturn, or, or Saturn, Capricorn in respect of, um, won't happen for another 18 years or something like that. I'm not the astrologer, people. I really am not. I wish my mind would embrace that, but I gotta, you know, read about it. I just don't. I'm more into, you know, esoteric and metaphysics. But look how fabulous. You know, this is when you've earned it, you've worked it. Just like we see the ten of fire here, heading up to the castle. Okay. The initiate, spiritual initiate already has the rainbows old in the earth. Luna's behind. Wonderful. 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 Okay. Yeah, and this... This is planet Uranus right there. Planet Uranus about being independent and having that freedom. You know, freedom to do what you you're born to do, you know, spiritually. What you're born to do, not freedom to do what I want, <laughs> you know. No, there's codes. There's codes. You see there's a little kitten with him. Usually they the fool card has a little doggy, but I don't know, Sir Marchetti's artwork is very fascinating to me. How this man can paint all these images. But you see, there's young blood too. See, we're going to have the energy. When it's meant to happen for you, what your soul purpose is, you'll have all that passionate energy. And it doesn't matter how old. I talk about Grandma Moses a lot. She raised all these children, grandchildren. And at 70 years old, she started painting. Okay. And she got recognized and she became this known around the world. Okay. So it's not about age. It's about the passionate energy you have for projects that you're born to do. You know? and, and God came through and said, you deserve it now. You've raised your family. And see, the elk is, stands for stamina and Native American wisdom. The elk, stamina. So just baby steps. Everything, there's nothing to rush, okay? And that's another thing about spirituality. We do not rush spirit, okay? No, we don't do that. We take it step by step and believe what's going on, okay? The ace of fire, look at it. Beautiful. Another, another butterfly here. Transformation for you to embrace a new beginning this year especially. Embrace the new beginning for putting your passionate energy into what your soul connects to. Okay. Not the ego, but yes, you got to think it out. Yes. But it's more like what your whole system is, like the chakras, you know, from your root to the sacral to your gut navel, think, you know, your love heart chakra, how you communicate via your throat chakra, you know, the third eye intuition, and then the spirituality of the crown chakra. You know, you tap. You tap the beautiful ones. That's nice. Oh, look at this. We have another castle in here. I've never noticed that. Can you see right here in this corner? Another castle. See? That's what they're su it's suggesting that you put your efforts through. But not, you know, aggressive attitude, okay? Not aggressive attitude because, you know, the, that's one thing with spirituality. They'll come for you. <laughs> If you're, you know, preaching about something and you really are just, you know what I mean. Wow, okay. Really good. So there is passionate energy on the table. Love and life. Look at this. <laughs> Victory, triumph, and the king of wands is here with two, two lions by his side. Look at that. The King of Fire. He's my favorite king, actually. The King of Cups is, but he's he's like the passionate one, too. Yeah. And here we have the Six of Wands. That's about triumph and victory as well. So you see, for all of us watching this video, you know, think like the King of Fire. You know. Embrace the spiritual initiate to bring you towards this position here. Because we've had the castle, what, in the background three times now? 
to achieve what you really want from passionate energy and fire is all about you know male active male active energy even if you're the queen of fire it's all about male active energy but the sixes we so we've received two sixes now which is really nice because that's about you know having that karma see your sole purpose has a karma on this planet to do something okay and this is the sixes are about you know having that um harmony and that peace because you know you're moving to the next um, step of you know sp uh, sp spirituality number seven in the respect of is it a challenge to you or could it be you know confidence and victory but when you align with the divine then you know you're you're stepping correctly no matter how long it takes you okay no matter how long but yes that's fun Okay, so here we have, and like I just said, you know, the kings and queens have mastered themselves, and they're in the castle, right? They're in the castle. So we have a king of fire, a queen of earth. That's pretty cool. And, you know, Leo ruled by the sun, fire, fire. Have that strength to continue on, okay? Don't ever give up on you, no matter how long it takes. Don't ever give up on you, okay? Because there's a dynamic energy out there, and you can have this. And, you know, the majestic lion is usually known as, uh, the, uh, you know, all about being um, royal, loyal kind of authority, lots of love and affection and romance. He's sort of known like the father, okay? Really cool. Really cool. Hold on, let me just, because this is reading is really sharing about new beginnings for 2018 and and finding the people that can, that will believe in you. Even if you're just starting out, just step by step, okay? And, and bring your visions to fruition. But not from the ego, okay? Not from ego. See, that's what happens. Not from ego. Okay, and not being, you know, yes, taking action, yes, step by step, and not being aggressive. Okay, but I just want to read this for my own input, and then we'll pick uh, a couple of these cards, and we'll close up the reading. Great Spirit, Mother Creator, bless the earth through my life, source of all nourishment. We seek to replenish your sacred world. Guide us now through the images, words, and feelings within as we reach into the wholeness. Let all that is needed be known. Welcome energies of earth, air, fire, and water. Let us create a life of beauty, reverence, and wonder. With each season, let us rejoice through every phase of sun and moon. Let us be in harmony in every direction. Shall we offer our love? Okay, and we've just pulled the cards to embrace these energies. And faith is an energy of your heart. Make room for it. And we've said it before. You know, you have faith, hope, and patience. And love, of course in your heart and I don't think you could ever go wrong with that so it's not like thinking too much in your mind like oh when's this gonna happen what am I? just chill out gotta meditate remember we've been talking about that for a long time now because it's it's up to you now to go within okay all right let me turn my head because I know these cards and with the big lettering I can see them so let's just I'm going to pick two, I think, as the pairing we've been talking about, a pairing, and just recognize, you see how this king and queen is here as well. You might meet these kind of people that already have mastered themselves, but they like what you're doing, okay? They get you, they and they want to help you. They want to aid you. That's the kind of partnerships that this year, this cosmic, motivated year can be about. And with, you know, Luna in the image, in the picture, you know, I mean, it's it's crazy good, crazy good. I mean, it's crazy good. Two full, moon, full moons back, you know, here in January now, March. I can't recall when that's ever happened, and I'm pumped up because March is, you know, my sunstorm. I I voiced the universe. Okay, that's brand new. A fountain of light. Okay, these cards have never come through. I voice the universe. I bring to life unique and powerful voice. 
Okay, I bring to life a unique and powerful voice. My insights and perceptions are important. Excuse me, my insights and perceptions are important blessings. Voicing my insights and perceptions is important to the world. I am an irreplaceable individual whose gifts benefit all. Okay, I voice the universe. I bring to life a unique and powerful voice. My insights and perceptions are important blessings. Voicing my insights and perceptions is important to the world. I'm an ir irreplaceable individual whose gifts benefit all that we have. Okay, so believe in yourselves. Truly, truly. You know, you know, once you start embracing spirituality and the respect and you know there's other dimensions out there, you do give it to the universe because you know you want them to be with you in your court, okay? In your court. A fountain of light. Okay, this has never come through. Joy and well-being pour forth from my contented heart. I am sourced by divine power. Okay, see? That's what we're saying. That's what spirituality is all about. I am sourced by divine power. A divine force flows out from me into the world. All I encounter are touched by the divine spark within me. I am touched by the divine spark with all others. Okay. So joy and well-being pour forth from my contented heart. I am sourced by divine power. A divine force flows out from me into the world. All I encounter are touched by the divine spark within me. I am touched by the divine spark within all others. There you go. And that's what we call the balance. And that's when the universe will bring you people, you know. And here we already have the world, you know. Like the world is yours, okay. The world is yours. So um, prepare, my friends. Prepare your mind for victory in 2018. And it's all baby steps. There is no race when you work with spirit. Actually, I think that's sort of like not the way to go. You know, I'm not going to call it a sin, but it's like, no. When you wait on the will of heaven, just put, we've been talking about it for months now, put your house in order and wait on the will of heaven. Okay. And then that will be the win-win. All right. Many blessings to all of you. Um, 2018 is going to be a, a fabulous year, okay? Love to all of you, and, and take care of yourselves, okay? Body, mind, and soul. Take care and enjoy. Enjoy. Ciao.